the club it's cuz you still performing them I am like <laughs> wow that's in the tough. clubs cuz you still performing them I actually do I mean we obviously <laughs> like speaking to artists a lot of stuff uh, but I would love to sort of like <laughs> I, I think we're at the lowest level of rap at the moment. Like, I, I, I think there's, in terms of rap live music, I've uh, been discussing this yeah. lately. I, I think we're in the dark ages. Um, it's quite disappointing. And I think that's why you're getting sort of rappers. I mean, is Eminem, is Easy Meal. I might as well say the other names that I'm sort of having an issue with in the industry. No. Um, like, I think that's why like people like Lil Baby are struggling to sell tickets and mm. the the littles, I guess, and they, they sort of a new generation. And I guess they do make some music that sort of you can bang your head to. And I like rap a lot. It's my favorite genre, um, even though I've been evolving because I'm so into drums. Um, but I feel like even in a club setting, you know, where the rappers sort of have these mm -hmm. sort of performances in, in clubs because you're building your portfolio, you're making some money. It's an easy way to sort of cash in. I genuinely think it's some of the worst performances live I've ever seen. They really in lack... In terms of musical quality. I, I mean. think what it, it lacks is cons vocal consistency. So what from, from a technical perspective... And it is perspective, rap. Like, you're not going to judge him as an opera singer. No, you know? definitely not. But there is a a generational change between the the rappers of Eminem's era yeah. uh, to the rappers of today because they, they were... They were put on stage first and then they were brought into a studio. And this generation, I feel the problem is that it doesn't translate well because mm -hmm. most of the magic is done in the studio. In, so in, in the environment where the very, there's no extraneous variables, there's there, no hardships. It's a very controlled environment and it's really, it's really modeled and, and tailored for the rapper. So when you have them in, in an environment where the microphones aren't dry and the, <laughs> they're hyped up because the environments are always, everybody's really having a great time. And you want to, um, as a performer, you want to give back to your audience. Mm -hmm. I feel like there is a lack of a vocal consistency that comes with just years of being on stage. And uh, the, you can't cheat, cheat that. And let me you reiterate my point. I'm not saying we're in the dark ages for music or even for studio music. In terms of studio music and production, oh, we're, we're the probably in the best years. era. Te technology <laughs> yeah. and music are really sort of intertwined really tightly together. In terms of live musical performances, there is no doubt that this is some of the lowest ever. Mm. You know, like you look at the eras of my father and my mother, you know, they were born in the 60s, late 60s and early 60s. And, you know, you had arguably the best era of live music in the next 30 years but from the 60s to the 90s. It's because of that lack of technology being inclu included. Yep. Plus, it was so much harder than to record a studio, al a studio album oh, difficult. is so much more expensive than everything it is now. Everything was analog, everything mm -hmm. was one take, the whole band one so take. So the priorities were different. Yep. And I think you can do a lot and still earn a lot of money by doing half of the work nowadays. Correct. So yeah. Let me, let me go back. 